the Wargaming 3D adventure continues. This time I'm printing some accessories for Team Yankee. Combat identification panels. These came from Thingiverse, but needed to be modified to suit 15mm vehicles. Join me to see how it turned out, and maybe you can print some for yourself. The combat ID panels I'm using came from this collection on Thingiverse. Link in the description below. The panel is just one of a number of items in this collection. I opened the panel file in Cheetubox, my software of choice. This will let us prepare the STL file for printing, including scaling and adding supports. While this 3D model was ostensibly designed for 135th scale vehicles, the description says the models are not precisely scaled. To modify 135th scale items for use at 15mm, they should be printed at about 35%. But I experimented with printing this at a few different sizes, and found 20-23% to about right. I ended up using 22%. But at this size, the piece is too thin so I scaled the depth up from 0.8 of a millimetre to 1.2 millimetres. Make sure you uncheck the lock ratio button here or it will resize in all three dimensions, not just the depth. So the panel is now 9 millimetres wide, 7 millimetres high and 1.2 millimetres deep. Because this has a nice flat back, you might be tempted to just print it direct onto the build plate, but there'd be a lot of suction that might pull the model free. I'm going to cant it back at 45 degrees and add some supports. Starting with the auto supports, but I'm also going to go in and add some more. For example, these tiny handles won't print well at this scale. It's probably okay at 135th scale, but at 15mm they're just too small. I'll manually add supports to these, otherwise they'll break off during printing and float around in the resin bath. Here's the supported model, on a nice raft so it will stick to the plate securely. I've copied and pasted it so there's 9 printing at a time. I'll save out the supported file as an STL, then we can slice it. I'm using any cubic Photon Workshop as my slicer. This is an earlier version of this project, but you can see what's happening here. I've told the software what printer I'll be using. I've got an AnyCubic Photon Mono. Then it slices up the 3D model into layers. These are the instructions the printer needs to print each layer, which will build up into our completed model. Once I save that as a .pwmo file, I can send that to the printer and set it going. It says it will take about 35 minutes. While it's printing, let's talk about combat identification panels. Combat identification panels were developed following the 1991 Gulf War as a measure to reduce friendly fire incidents. These panels give off a distinctive visual signature when viewed through thermal optics, allowing allies to identify each other more easily on the battlefield. They can be louvered panels or flat panels like the one on this Challenger 2 turret face. They've been used in action since the 2003 Iraq War. Panels are used on main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and even on light vehicles like Humvees. Here's the end result. They're not perfect, but they'll do. I ended up catching a bit of dust in the grey primer I used. This will brush off before I paint them properly. Resizing these took a few test prints, but I'm pretty happy with them at 22% for 15mm. There are some visible lines in the print after I increased the depth proportion, but not enough to notice. And the thicker print is more realistically proportioned and sturdier. The handles are too delicate for 15mm, and I'll just remove these. The supports on them just stop these parts breaking off during printing. Combat ID panels are anachronistic for Team Yankee's timeline. They appear a few years later, but they look good on a model and that's all that counts. Besides, my troops need something if they're going to go onto the table with American allies. Are these panels something you'd like to do for your miniatures? 
Are you going to give printing these a go? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.